What's up guys, it's Noikla here, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this HD0 Eco Bundle. This comes in at a price point of $69.99, and it's a really great deal because it includes everything you need to get started. You can see on the back of the box here, it's including a camera and a VTX and an antenna. So it really has everything you need just to get started, and if you want to get into whooping or 3-inch drones, or maybe even 5-inch drones uh, with HD0, this could be a good way to get introduced to the system and see if you like it. So let's get it taken out of the box here. Comes in a nice little plastic wrap, just like every other HD0 product. And the packaging itself is very secure. You will not be receiving any damaged goods in these boxes. We can see the unit itself. Uh, it comes pre-soldered with the camera to the VTX. And what's unique about this is it's a composite video system. So normally HD0 is purely digital and we run at 720p or 540p on the 90Hz camera. But this one is actually an analog camera, so that means you don't need to worry about a fragile MIPI cable. And you might be wondering, well, what's the point of flying HD0 if it's actually analog? And what you get with this is a much higher quality video stream. Uh, in general, it looks a lot better than normal analog, I would say. And we'll be showing that a little bit later on. But here we have the back of it. Uh, it just looks like any other H20 VTX, except it's actually analog, which is pretty cool if you ask me. This VTX is capable of 25 milliwatts to 200 milliwatts. I'll be testing it at 25 in my video. It's 25 by 25 with M2 soft mounting, so if you want to put in a 5 inch, you might have to tape it in there like I did. Um, has antenna retention built in, and it only weighs 4.5 grams, with 6.3 grams including the camera. And you can see here I have it mounted up on one of my 5 inch test rigs. This is actually an 8S capable quad. I'll be running on 6S, so it's not quite as fast as my other builds, but it gets the job done. I have a Runcam Nano 3 mount on the back of this camera, and then it's just the normal light switch V2 variable camera tilt mount. And I have double sided sticky taped this VTX to the top of my stack, uh, and I'll be using the included dipole. So, first impressions uh, it's a little bit dark. I'd say the dynamic range is kind of higher than I would like. Uh, the, the darks and the shadows are a little bit tough to see in, but when you're in the direct sunlight, it's no problem. Uh, and you see here, I have my whole OSD up. You can see my signal strength. It's pretty good. I'm flying from inside, and we get a little bit of that HD0 breakup at the end of the yard, but this is the included dipole, so you can't really expect it to be outperforming a circular polarized antenna. And here we see, I'm. this is my very first pack, so... I've never flown it before. This is the first time I ever tried this on a 5 inch. And I'm already feeling pretty comfortable actually. Able to push it a little bit around this little track I set up. Um, there is a little bit of vibration, but I believe that it's just induced by my, my camera mount setup. It's not perfect. But I'm able to whip this around pretty good. I'm not really struggling at all. I've never even flown this setup, so I feel like getting used to it this quickly, it must not have any glaring issues for racing. You could definitely fly this on a 5 inch and have no problem at all. Uh, it's clearly not as good as the 90 hertz system. The clarity and the smoothness isn't quite there, but uh, it's definitely good enough to get some fast laps in. And also a little durability test. And now I'm going to test the range out, fly around the property a little bit. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I would say this product is good for anybody who wants to get into HD0. Um, it's definitely not the same level as what we're used to with the full digital system. But as a hybrid system and at this low weight, it's very impressive for whoop pilots or uh, anybody just trying to keep the general weight down. This is a great option. So all in all, I do recommend this for any lightweight builds. Uh, if you're on a budget, it'll definitely work on 5 inch. You just got to make sure you have a BEC to power it because it can only take up to a 3S. 
if you want to check out this great little product, just head over to the H2 Zero store and search up Eco Bundle. You'll find it for low, low price of $69.99. Thanks for watching.